Well, in 2009, I found out I had thyroid cancer. And I had never heard of thyroid cancer. So after I went through all my treatments and everything, I told my family I was going to do something to make people aware of thyroid cancer. So I started after my, um, after my treatment and I got back from my vacation that I had to cancel. Uh, and I decided to start my first event. And uh, that was before I formed the Butterfly Bandits. And then it was small. A couple people came to the thing. I actually joined up with a thing. It's called Bark for Life. And uh, we took all our dogs. They were all dressed up. It was adorable. So um, then my second event, what I did is I, um, it was called Pilates and More for a Cure. And we had a Pilates instructor and we had a lot of people come and we raised a lot of money, you know, just being in a gym. You know, we were in the gym that I belonged to. And then some of the people there said they wanted to help out. So I decided to, um, I founded the group Butterfly Bandits. And now we're doing a big event, which is going to be March 21st at Kane Saloon. And all the money will go to UPMC. Baby. Well, your thyroid looks like a butterfly. And I knew that what I wanted to do is I wanted to conquer um, and make sure that people knew. So bandits was the first word that came out. And I said, our name is Butterfly Bandits. And that's how I formed it. And so, uh, what's your goal? Our goal is to bring awareness um, in detecting thyroid disease and thyroid cancer and how people can prevent it. I have a lot of educational things that I hand out, you know, things to avoid so people do not have a problem with thyroid disease. Detecting it is very hard. It usually starts with like a lump in your neck and then it, um, it attaches to your thyroid and then it grows. As far as thyroid disease, it's very, very hard to detect thyroid disease because it masks so many different things. Um, I was 14 years with Hashimoto's disease, but nobody knew until I had cancer. So that's how I was detected in that time. Then I found out I, I had Hashimoto's. And uh, what that is, is it's an autoimmune disease and it actually attacks your thyroid and it's killing your thyroid so it does not work. So the rest of your body is just completely in like limbo because the thyroid regulates your entire body. Treatment, the, the best thing is to find the best doctor to treat you and have a doctor that's going to listen to you of what your symptoms are and not just look at your levels. Most doctors, what they um, do is they check your TSH level, and that's all they did with me. My TSH was within the ranges that they say is with, within the ranges. If other stuff would have been detected, and that's what I try to tell everybody, if you believe you have a thyroid condition, have the full thyroid panel checked along with your adrenals. And then that way you will be better to detect if you have thyroid disease. Well, with it, you know, we're at least giving out education so they can prevent having thyroid disease, which is an epidemic now in Western Pennsylvania. Um, with the material that I hand out to everybody, it teaches them the food that they should avoid. Um, they should definitely avoid fluoride. Fluoride, what it is, is it, your thyroid thinks that it's iodine and sucks it in and it destroys your thyroid. Um, so for people to get, you know, to come be a part of Butterfly Bandits, they will also be able to learn how to avoid thyroid disease, plus keep their family in better health. Um, it's really crucial. Your, your thyroid really regulates the entire body. Without your thyroid, it's really, really hard. So um, that's why the Butterfly Bandits, that's why, you know, we educate. I've been going on to health fairs and everything so I could get more people involved so they can eat healthier and keep their thyroid, not like me. <laughs> well, it's gonna be at Kane Saloon, which is on West Liberty Avenue in Dormont. I have a local band, which their name is called Local. Uh, they're a Pittsburgh acoustic band. Um, they play all kind of different kind of music. The Pirate Par Parrot is also gonna be visiting us and, and then dancing and having a good time, bringing smiles, so it's gonna be awesome. And Kane Saloon is going to be providing all the appetizers and um, bringing in all the desserts. And then we also have Massage Envy, and they're going to be coming in, and they're going to bring their therapist. They're going to be doing many massages and many facials. So, and then I have awesome Chinese auction items and silent auction items. We have an autographed uh, penguin jersey, and we have an autographed Steeler football. So it should bring in a lot of money, and the money is going to be uh, used for beneficial for thyroid cancer research. So I well, we are going to have another event, and it's going to be at the Pittsburgh Pirate Game. It's going to be September 15th. All the details, I don't have it um, 
everything going on, but it's going to be a 1.35 uh, p.m. game Sunday afternoon. Afterwards, we're going to have a tailgate party. So everything's in the works. I haven't had everything finalized, but September 15th is the date. So if we want to get involved with Butterfly Bandits, find out more about... I have a Facebook page, um, and I do put flyers out, and I try to... The American Cancer Society is also trying to help, you know, push all the events, too. So all the flyers and everything go out through them, too. And UPMC has been wonderful in trying to, you know, get the word out about all our events. It's uh, facebook.com slash butterfly bandits.